so I am out here at the park and I'm on my cell phone so the quality of this video may not be the best but I know that I haven't been very present on my YouTube channel so I wanted to kind of do a video to kind of just briefly update you guys on where I've been at what's been going on in my life what's happening with my vegan journey probably to answer just all the questions that you guys are probably asking in your minds because I've been absent and before I get started let me put some chapstick on because my lips are looking a little parched and I don't have time for the shenanigans if I can find it I hope I oh it's in my pocket give me just a second Hella bugs out here. All right, your girl is back in business. Let me put the cap on. Give me just a second, y'all. Just a second. <laughs> but what's up? Like, I feel like I've been missing for like a decade. Okay, I'm officially like tired of the bugs. But I feel like I've been missing for like a day and a year. Like, I've been missing. And I got some good things to share with you. And you're probably looking at one of them. Like, yeah look at my hair i totally decided to lock my hair up so that's like one thing that has changed with me since the last time i posted a video up on here and you got people just rolling by and creeping and staring at me like what is this beautiful chocolate god is doing out here sitting in the park all by her lonesome in the grass black people don't do that do they <laughs> glad to break stereotypes but let me quit ranting but anywho yes i've been m.i.a and I want to start off by just apologizing for taking such a long hiatus from connecting with you guys. I have been active on my social media platform, Instagram, but as far as um, using my YouTube space to connect with you guys, I've kind of been a deadbeat mom. And I want to apologize to you guys for that. Um, my camera's looking a little blurry. Hold on. That better whatever and my bra is showing okay get it together Brit but I just want to apologize for that you know I was going through some things last year where I was kind of trying to juggle trying to start my health and wellness business working full-time at my job and then still trying to balance doing these little things here for my YouTube channel trying to make sure that I stayed active on Instagram and it was becoming a lot and unfortunately my YouTube channel took the back seat and I'm happy to say that I'm back and I kind of want to talk about what has changed in my life to allow me the opportunity to be able to now focus on my YouTube channel and everything else that means a lot to me and so let's get into all of the new updates so if you guys haven't noticed I am locked up. So I had my one year lock anniversary on April 22nd and today is June 2nd. So it has been a little over a year since I started a lock journey and starting my locks was probably the best decision that I've ever made for my self growth. Um, I decided to start locks because I knew that I wanted to simplify my regimen as much as possible. And then with me having, you know, goals of wanting to be off grid and to just live more simply, I knew that I did not want to sacrifice that by having a bunch of products for my hair and having to spend hours styling my hair. So I decided to lock my hair up a year ago. And at first it was a struggle. You know, I was in corporate America and the job that I had um, you know, I was the face of the company where I was working at. I was their corporate trainer. So whenever we would hire new people, whenever we had to do trainings and things like that, I led those things. So, okay, time out. There is just like so many little yellow bugs. I'm sure some have flown into my mouth. I'm just not feeling it. Let me put my cutter candles closer to me give me some relief but they're like i could just see them all just everywhere like they are everywhere but anywho i was the face of the company and i felt very self-conscious you know the first couple of 
months through my journey because I was looking a little raggedy, you know. Anyone who has ever cultivated, I mean, like, look, you can see them on the camera. Like, why are they? Okay, I'm going to have to pause this video. All right, I'm back. So sorry that I was rudely interrupted by all of these bugs out here, but they just just have no chill right now. And I know y'all can see them flying around on the screen. But nonetheless, I was feeling very self-conscious about myself because, you know, I was used to looking very neat and tidy. And, you know, when I started my locks, I was bushy, I was frizzy, I had a lot going on with my hair, and, and it made me feel a little, you know, concerned about how people were perceiving me. So, you know, I combed out, like, the front of my head maybe, like, a month in, and then after someone, you know, gave me the little pep talk that I needed and just kind of gave me some support, I went back and got my hair restarted and then it's been smooth sailing ever since from that moment forward. Um, but you know, after starting my locks, you know, that also kind of propelled me to really start to focus back on doing the things that I needed to do to get my business up and running. So I started creating an exit plan from my employer so that I could focus 100% on my health and wellness business because ultimately that's where my heart belonged. And so literally two months before my self-made expiration date, I was let go from my employer due to some unfortunate issues that had occurred between myself and the president of the company. And I was released and given the perfect opportunity to focus on what I was meant to be focusing on, which was my own business, you know. I had been planning my exit for literally like a year or two and every time that I got very serious about exiting I somehow stalled and found another reason to stay longer and you know I guess I attracted the experience of being released from my job in the perfect way because I was constantly having conversations with people about my desire to leave and how I didn't want to be there. I, I'm I just I don't understand I did put on lavender oil thinking that it was going to help keep them away from me but I'm wondering if maybe that's attracting them but nonetheless um, I'm gonna just try to rough it out y'all but I don't probably ate some of these bugs I'm sure they flew in my mouth but you know so I was released from my job in the most perfect way and now I have a hundred percent of my time back to focus on my health and wellness business and to do all of the things that matter the most to me, which is being a support system for my virtual family who is interested in transitioning to a plant-based diet or who are going through similar life situations and just want to be able to relate to someone who understands and who's been there and done it. So I am now officially in the process of creating you know, my infrastructure and my foundation for my health and wellness business as well as continuing to thrive in my plant-based diet. So um, just to kind of talk about a little bit where I am with my diet, I am still 100% vegan. And to kind of add to that, I shared in a previous video about my vegan journey, one of my goals, which was to be on a full, like fruitarian raw vegan lifestyle. And I am currently in the process of transitioning to a fruit-based lifestyle. I can say at this moment, I am actively about, let's just say 60 to 70% fruit, and then everything else is still cooked vegan food. And I have also experienced a full on fruit feast where I ate nothing but fruit for an extended period of time. And I just felt so amazing when I ate only fruit that I knew from that experience that this was definitely the right decision. And I am so grateful to be able to progress in this journey, although it is extremely difficult. Me trying to transition away from cooked food has probably been the most challenging thing that I've tried to date. Going vegan was easy to me, um, but this letting go of cooked food is a whole nother monster. I have realized now that I am addicted to food in a way that I never thought that I was. Addicted to cooked food, I should say, in a way that I never thought that I was. And it is proving to be extremely challenging to let go of it. But every time I fall off, 
I pick back up even harder with my fruits and I continue to just be patient with myself and to understand that I am literally trying to undo many, 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 many years of psychological programming that has caused me to be in love with cooked food. I mean, even straight down to the point that my mom probably ate it when she was pregnant with me. So I was being programmed to like it way before I was even earthside. So it's a lot to kind of try to deal with. But like I said, keeping that in mind is what's also helping me to stay patient with myself and to be aware that it's not going to be an overnight process, but I am actively transitioning. So I'm excited about that and grateful to be able to have the wisdom, to be able to have the discipline and the knowledge to be able to do it. And so I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I need to update you guys on? I think that's it. I don't want this video to be extremely long and I'm already like... 10 minutes, 10, 11 minutes in. So I'm going to probably go ahead and start to close it up. But I did just kind of want to do an update with you guys while I'm sitting here in the park trying to allow the sun to resuscitate my bumpy skin because I'm breaking out right now because I decided to go on a fruit hiatus last week. My moon cycle had my cravings and appetite all over the place and I honestly didn't even want fruit. So I kind of stopped eating fruit for like a week and now my skin is breaking out. So I'm at the park sunbathing allowing the sun to kind of help cook some of these toxins up out of my skin so that I can get back to glowing and having no blemishes and no bumps but other than that guys that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up in a minute because I've been rambling and I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long I just want to do a short update to let you guys know what's been going on with me and I'll also post a video on my lock journey so that you guys can see from day one up until where I am right now what my journey has been like and how my hair has transformed over the time period of one year. Um, but thanks so much guys for continuing to support and just being here and rocking with your girl, even though I've been MIA and missing in action and all those different things. But I'm gonna keep posting videos and try to be as active as I can. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time, peace and love, y'all already know. <laughs>